What's up everybody? It's William Video Round coming at you and today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Gelato Electrophoresis and Visualization System from Mini PCR. Um, I've been using Mini PCR products for about two years now and I really love how user friendly they are. Um, so as soon as you open up the box you're going to get your little instruction pamphlet super user friendly just as I mentioned. Um, and we're going to get right into the meat of things here and uh, grab the gelato system. All right, so we got the gelato system and then we have this little uh, viewer that we put on top whenever we turn the light on to view our bands in the gel. Um, and I really like this because I can put my phone right up to it and take really, really nice pictures whenever it's illuminated. Um, and I really like these gel tabs. <clears throat> I got to use them and we'll see at the end of the video. Um, but they have the DNA stain. Um, they have the TB already in it. All you have to do is mix in water and I mean, it's so efficient. Um, so in this little box is where we have the power supply. Um, and I believe there's a couple other things in here. Let's see. Uh, we got a nice little cloth here um, to wipe off our screen. I find that after I run a gel, um, I like to take the uh, the orange lid off and wipe off because there's a little bit of uh, condensation that builds up so it gives me a better uh, view of the DNA of the bands. Um, so we have our power supply here. This is the United States Standard Power Supply. Um, and then we have the gel cutting tray. Um, so you can take your gel out and cut your bands of DNA out of your gel. Um, and you're going to want to use these glasses um, whenever you're using the gel cutting tray since you don't have the orange lid on top. Um, and then at the end we had some uh, spray there to clean off our uh, visualizer orange lid there. Here we have our casting tray. Um, this is where we pour our agarose gel. Um, and then on the bottom it has a nice little area to store your combs. Um, your combs are what you're going to use um, in the gel um, to put the wells into the gel where you're going to be putting your DNA and your ladders and things like that for running your gel electrophoresis. Um, I really like these casting systems. Um, I like how they have two different sizes um, <clears throat> and a lot of different comb variations. All right, and the lid just slides right off. Um, the lid needs to be connected when we're running our electrophoresis um, for the electricity to flow through the gel. At this point, I just started to uh, fiddle around with how the combs fit into the casting uh, tray. All right, so now I uh, got to testing out these gel green agarose tabs. And I have to say, I was super thrilled with these. I didn't even know that these were coming in the kit. Um, <clears throat> per tab, it's 20 mil of distilled water um, for a 2% agarose mix. Um, and I just mixed it up in a little glass vessel and threw it in the microwave. Honestly, that was it. <laughs> I cannot complain. I didn't have to weigh any agarose out. I didn't have to mix up any TBE, any water, or anything like that. I didn't have to drop any gel stain in. It had the gel stain in it, has the TB in it. All I did was mix up the water and uh, throw it right into the microwave. All right, so the first time I pulled it out, I noticed there's still a little bit of agarose on the sides. So I tried to like swish it around to get the agarose off the sides. Real easy, it all slid down. Um, and you want your agarose to look all glassy and clear um, whenever it's mixed and boiled and hot, ready to go. Um, so I put it back in for like 30 seconds. It was super clear and glassy. Um, and then I just walk it down to the lab and, uh, you know, pour it in the casting. Here I just set the combs right into the casting tray. Super easy setup. Um, and then I pour the agarose right into uh, the casting tray. The two tabs filled up the bigger casting tray, perfect.
All right, now that the gel is hardened, um, I sit down here to pull the combs out of the tray. My apologies for the camera angle. I didn't realize it was so low. Um, but you kind of want to just gently um, slide the comb out of the gel. Um, then you have your wells that you can uh, put your DNA into. All right, so I'm not going to lie. At this step, whenever you put the uh, TV, dilute, diluted TBE in um, over your gel, I was not prepared for how much I needed and I had to make some more. Um, I can't remember exactly how much um, I needed to get it to cover the gel, um, but it was more than I had on hand at the time, uh, at the time so I needed to make up some more. Um, but once I had it covered, I slid the lid in and at first I kept getting the open uh, sign on the uh, digital monitor there, um, but I just had to fit, fiddle with the lid a little bit and um, I got the connections to attach properly um, and then it started running the gel. All right, so I ran my mating type PCR for 20 minutes at the highest voltage and this was the results. Um, excuse the red bands. I've been trying to figure out why I got these red bands. Still don't know. If anybody knows, you can drop in the comments. Um, but I got some pretty good results for the first run. I, I could have let it run a little bit longer, but I'm pretty happy with what I got going on here. I really like this machine and I would recommend it for others.